Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before my uh, starting my topic, I'd like to say a few words. Uh, I'd like to give my uh, much thanks to uh, Professor Hani Patisha and Professor Lee, uh, uh, director of uh, GIFT, uh, for kind uh, invi uh, invitation to make a visit to GIFT host tech. Uh, GIFT uh, is not the only uh, okay. Uh, the greatest institute of famous technology uh, is not only a gift to me, uh, but also a friend and a martyr uh, to me. Uh, Ten years ago, I know about uh, POSCO and POSTEC when I was uh, works in working uh, Wuhan, uh, Wuhan uh, Steel Iron and Iron Company. Our delegates from uh, Paul Kahn, uh, Stobok, and Samuel uh, Company named it uh, our manufacture of uh, malt powder and fluxes for continuous casting of steel. Uh, at that time, uh, they want to make a joint venture company at Wuhan. Uh, seven years later, uh, they <coughs> established our joint venture company at Qingdao, China. Several years ago, I uh, provide technical support for this company for uh, nearly one year. So, uh, Polcom and Postec, Postco, is for me uh, is for, uh, familiar with me, and I familiar with this uh, Polcom, Postec, and Postco uh, many years ago. Uh, <clears throat> some graduate, uh, graduate from a gift Postec also works uh, in Wuhan Iron and Steel Company. Uh, the master student of Professor Lee uh, has promoted to be our chief engineer of steel making plant. Uh, so uh, GIFT is a very good place for steel research. Uh, has make a meeting uh, in the steel research in the world. So it's my great pleasure to uh, present my recent work here. Uh, my <coughs> topic is uh, on the new insights into integrated ferrite in low carbon, low, uh, low alloy steels. I can, <coughs> first, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Wuhan. Why is Wuhan? Wuhan is nearly the center of China. Uh, this is the uh, Yenna Grand Town in Wuhan, the one of the four most famous towns in China. This is Yang River, first Lu, uh, Wuhan city. Here is Shanghai, Beijing, and Sony, Pokhan. So it, it's very convenient to, uh, in Wuhan to uh, uh, all China, even overseas. What is the Wuhan University of Science and Technology? Uh, here is our old campus. This is a new campus. Here is the Wuhan Iron Steel Company, Wuhan Steel. So it's very near uh, for uh, Wuhan University of Science and Technology to Wuhan Steel uh, plant, steel companies. Uh, Wuhan University of Science and Technology is a university belonged to 
a former state ministry of metallurgy industry. Uh, our university specializes in iron steel technology. The former name is Wuhan University of Iron Steel Technology. First, <coughs> go to part one, is the intracranial ferrite. What's the intracranial ferrite? As we know, uh, the proeutectoid ferrite is the first product of the phase transmission of steel. Here, this is grain boundary ferrite, and some ingredients was introduced in steel making. This is the ingredients, this is the intracranial ferrite. In wet field, waiting field, uh, it's also called esker ferrite. So the intracranial ferrite is ferrite nucleated on intracranial inclusions. Because the intracranial ferrite can effectively prevent the proliferating of plaque on a uh, microstructure, it, is, uh, it has good hibernation of high strength and very good toughness. So it is a very desired microstructure in high strength, low no no alloy steels. This uh, intracranial ferrite has wide applications in high strength, low no alloy steels, uh, such as shipbuilding steels, vessel steels, pipeline steels, bridge building steels. Uh, this is the, the steel and heat treatment for our intracranial ferrite for three dimensional analysis. No carbon, no alloy, and micro alloy with vanadin. The heat treatment is uh, also at 15, uh, 12, 15 degrees for 600 seconds, and then isomerally reacted at. Uh, 550, 560 to 750 degrees for variant times. Uh, this slide shows the three-dimensional reconstruction procedures. First, uh, applied hardness indentation for the uh, identified the areas for three-dimensional analysis and the alignment of, of serial sections. Then, image acquisition. Uh, alignment of uh, the serial sections with Sion image, and then mask the ferrite with Photoshop, uh, and then transform the two dimensional uh, data to volume, volume data set, finally visualized with, with AVAs. This is the procedure for alignment of serial sections. This is indentation marks. This is object uh, SQL ferrite or integral ferrite or some other uh, microstructures. Ferrite atomorphous uh, forms at high temperature. Uh, this is the optic microstructure of uh, atomorphous formed at uh, nice 690 for, for, for 40 seconds. Uh, we can see is, it is a equix, equix shape. It has a equix, equix shape. This inclusion, this inclusion. This is a, a three dimensionally contracted uh, image of ideomorphos. Ideomorphos. This item of looks like biscuit or pony cajun. This looks like a flower. Uh, but on the two dimensional images, uh, it's like this. This is a serial section of item of of the just the way we show. Uh, at, the first, at first, very little, uh, very amount of the uh, ferrite uh, appeared, and then the change, shape, the, change uh, the, the shape changed uh, 
at different uh, sections. Here's another series of sections in the three contracted image of itemorphos. Uh, at this section, we can see the inclusion, and also in this image, we can see the inclusion. Uh, in these sections, uh, the inclusion cannot be seen. Uh, it, uh, when we do the serial sex, uh, serial sectioning, most uh, of the uh, inclusions cannot be cannot be seen on every uh, sections because inclusions is mo much more than the ferrite. So just uh, a few sections can be seen, uh, the inclusions can be seen. So it is should be noted that the most, uh, according to the research, uh, every ferrite itemorphous formed on inclusions. This is ferrite mass or place nucleated on inclusions. The ferrite mass uh, formed at low temperature at 610 six for 10 seconds. This is usually called Esca ferrite, uh, the shape uh, looks like mass or plate. This is inclusions. This is a re re image of a uh, ferrite NASA plate. The red part is inclusions, this inclusion. This is not totally re the top, The top part was uh, removed during uh, specimen proliferation, and this is a corny re NAS, ferrite NAS. Ferrite grains formed at intermediate temperatures. The morphology changed. Uh, we can see the ideomorphous. Uh, also, uh, ferrite NAS or place can also be seen. Uh, this is the uh, uh, ferrite uh, NAS or plate. Uh, they transition, transit from itemorphous to place. This slide shows the EPSD analysis of, of itemorphous. Uh, the itemorphous from a higher temperature usually consist of subgrains uh, with no angle boundary. And at high temperatures, uh, ferrite mass of place keep a uh, fixed uh, orientation relationship with ply austenite grains. You, this is the inclusion, inclusion, inclusion. Uh, the ferrite mass flows in opposite directions have the same orientation and different uh, the ferrite mass of place uh, close in different directions have the different volumes of uh, the KS orientation relationship. Uh, this slide shows the partially transformed microstructures. The, the black dots uh, are including, uh, we just choose uh, some part of the ferrite uh, reconstructed. Uh, for three-dimensional analysis. Uh, the only formed uh, SQL ferrite, ferrite uh, form or a war, a war. Uh, the later uh, formed SQL ferrite or integral ferrite cannot uh, grow freely. It's, it's restricted in in this area. So we can see the net, the ferrite net, net, net font is more than the only font uh, SQL ferrite. We also measure the hardness and elastic modules of integral ferrite grains. At high temperature, uh, 
the hardness and the modulus of ideal morphos is uh, smaller than uh, the intercranifarite NASA place uh, formed at no uh, temperatures. How is the internal microstructure formed? Uh, uh, we can s this image shows uh, how it's formed. Uh, this is inclusion, and this is ferrite or intercranifarite NASA plate. Uh, first, they formed uh, on inclusion. It only stages acyl ferrite grows very fast. It's long and thin. Uh, the acyl ferrite net formed is restricted in smaller areas. They cannot grow long and uh, long. At net stages, uh, they can they can uh, weaken the uh, thickness. So the, uh, the integral ferrite on inclusions can section the notch osnite grain size in the many small areas. Uh, the, net, the ferrite net formed uh, is restricted in the small area. So the internal in, uh, internal microstructure is formed. And also, another reason is that uh, uh, integral ferrite keeps a fixed uh, uh, orientation in its shape with uh, osonide matrix. So we can see the internal microstructure. Let's go to summary of this part. A uh, one-to-one -one and multiple nucleation of integral inferior grains on inclusions are observed at higher and low transformation temperatures, respectively. At higher transformation temperatures, integral inferior grains appear to be equi-excited and move. At low transformation temperatures, several ferrite grains are usually imbricated from one inclusion. They appear to be nuts or blades rather than needles. At intermediate transformation temperatures, interferonucleate grains transform from equi-exed itemorphous to not oblate. At higher transformation temperatures, ferrite grains consist of subgrains with no anchor boundaries. At no transformation temperatures, ferrite nuts are placed using keep or fixed orientation relationship with austenite matrix. The hardness and the elastic modules of ideal morphos formed at higher temperatures temp are no than those of ferrite nuts or plates formed at no transform transformation temperatures. The formation of intercranial ferrite nuts or plates can facilitate the attainment of fine grained intercranial ferrite microstructures. Let's go to part two. Uh, Esker ferrite in uh, wet metal. Here is the uh, chemical composition of a wet wire uh, and uh, the wet deposit. Uh, no carbon and no alloy in the wire and the wet deposit. Here, this is the uh, scheme medical pattern for heat treatment of the specimen. This after optic microstructure shows the S deposit microstructures in wet metal. Uh, we, this is uh, uh, usually uh, observed uh, microstructure in a wetted metal. There are some inclusions in the S square ferrite. Uh, we usually hold uh, this microstructure with Munchen star, uh, it's, uh, it need we show the uh, three-dimensional uh, morphology of the with Munchen star. Uh, this slide shows uh, isomeric coating microstructure with at very only transformation time. Uh, it's very only uh, ferrite formed, long and thin, 
uh, uh, there are some, some of them uh, to be uh, formed on inclusions. Actually, there are most of them, even uh, uh, every of the uh, SQL ferrite at high temperatures formed at, uh, at inclusions. For a long time, uh, SQL ferrite uh, formed, we can see it's short and thick. It's short and thick. Very fine network of SQL ferrite microstructure. At, long, at short time, we just see a very few amount of SQL ferrite, but the thin and long, it don't need to be a long time, uh, it becomes short and thick. Uh, this figure shows the variation of length, width, and thickness with coating time. The length of SQL ferrite increase very fast. But the thickness and uh, width is increased very slowly. This is the fraction transformed. Uh, we'd like to see uh, what's the real morphology of individual uh, SQL ferrite with uh, some <coughs> Uh, serial sectioning and reconstruction of SQL ferrite. Uh, this is a, a very short time formed uh, SQL ferrite. Looks like a, a NAS. Uh, here is a H on view, H on, uh, H on, H on view of uh, this uh, NAS. For need be long time, uh, SQL ferrite, an ancient, an ancient, but they did not uh, seek uh, very fast. Nearly the same thickness of SQL ferrite. These two images shows the complex microstructure, how the interlocked how, how the uh, interact of different uh, SQL ferrite grains. This, this three-dimensional uh, image just show a part of, of this uh, optical microstructure. The, we can see it's very complex of, of this three-dimensional microstructure. In order to reveal uh, their interaction, uh, or a small part of the of this SQL ferrite was reconstructed, this three-dimensional uh, connect connection is like this. They are formed at inclusions and interact with the other uh, SQL ferrite. Uh, with the increasing of the transforma transformation. This is multiple nucleation of SQL ferrite at uh, intracranial inclusions. Uh, this is the two-dimensional image of Wiedemann Stein star. Uh, here is, is our inclusion. Uh, it's nearly one micron. And uh, this is the vi video view of five plates formed uh, at the same inclusion. This is uh, usually called Weidmann Stein star in waiting field. This is a sympathetic nucleation of Edgar ferrite. The uh, two, possi two possibility, uh, one possibility, uh, the blue one, was nucleated on the uh, white NAS on the, on the uh, plot face of the white uh, ferrite. This is another possibility. They are independent nucleation 
and close. Tuning the close, the uh, uh, this the white ferret nuts uh, blocked the close of the blue one. So uh, the two possibilities uh, exist, but most likely uh, th this uh, SQL ferrite was new created on the white uh, SQL ferrite by H on H on H face the new creation. There's hard impingement of SQL ferrite. This is our, uh, only formed uh, SQL ferrite. The ferrite formed later uh, is blocked by the only formed SQL ferrite. This is our inclusion. We can, we can see uh, the smaller uh, SQL ferrite also formed uh, on inclusions. This is the intersection of SQL ferrite. Tune the close of uh, SQL ferrite. They can uh, uh, lens on this SQL ferrite lens on, on this direction, and the white one maybe uh, on, on this direction. Tune the close, they can uh, interaction uh, to form or Intersection or intersection structure of SQL ferrite. Uh, this slide shows the orientation relationship of SQL ferrite. This is our rotated view of uh, of a band of SQL ferrite. Uh, Thirteen uh, ferrite nuts or plate. This is a top view of 13 uh, ferrite nuts. Uh, we uh, checked the uh, orientation with micro AVS. Uh, 12 of them uh, uh, keep the variance of uh, KS orientation relationship. This made sure the studio view of five plates of the uh, uh, open of uh, ferret nuts in the in this in this box, uh, this slide shows the video view of three plays uh, of number eight, nine, and eleven. We checked uh, all of them. Uh, here is our studio view of our number three nas. Uh, we is it's quite easy to, to see uh, there's uh, the same orientation shape, and this one is also a variant of the KS orientation relation. Uh, how is the uh, internal microstructure formed? We also do uh, to do three-dimensional analysis for the long holding time uh, specimen. Uh, this specimen called uh, 10 seconds. Uh, this, this, part, this image is the same as this one, but uh, in order to show it, uh, uh, clearly the uh, the structure and the inclusions we uh, separate to show this image. Uh, five totally of, uh, of, uh, total of them are new created on inclusions. These are inclusion, these are inclusion, uh, these also are inclusion. And, and the smaller one, the inclusion is inside the uh, ferrite grains. And here is our grain boundary uh, ferrite. And this is a uh, big uh, ferrite formed only. Uh, here is another example of uh, the only formed uh, ESCA ferrite uh, prevent the close of net formed uh, ESCA ferrite. Uh, there are 
this is the ingredient, and the ferrite net formed uh, is restricted in this area, in this area, this nickel wall, to prevent the growth of net formed ethical ferrite. Let's go to summary of part two. The morphology of ethical ferrite is varied from plate nike to nas nike. Uh, the major size of ferrite plates from three dimensional reconstructed images of the basement, isosomally reacted for one second to five seconds, are 10 to 20 micrometers in length and 0.7 to uh, 1.9 micrometers in thickness and several microns in width. Uh, it appears that the lengthening of ethical ferrite is faster at only a stage and subsequently uh, both the width and the thickness increased. Ethical ferrite is formed at intracranial inclusions. It may choose uh, a Kutchmov sucks orientation relationship with matrix austenite grains. The fine and interlocked microstructures is, re is resulted from the multiple nucleation, interaction, and heart impingement, and sympathetic nucleation of SKF ferrite. Let's go to part three. Is all SKF ferrite and penite mixed microstructure? Here is the chemical composition of steel, wire, and weighting parameters. Uh, we can see this, uh, this is a typical chemical composition of uh, archer low carbon penetic ben steel. Uh, is the <coughs> uh, using it for, for, using it for structure steel and for pipeline steel. This is the white weight, weight wire, the composition of weight wire and the uh, this is the weighting parameters for the steel plate. In this section, we, uh, may, we, we will show uh, how the heat affected zone uh, was sectioned, was partitioned by the uh, intracranial ferrite. This mechanical properties of base plate, the yield chains is <coughs> 720, nearly uh, X. X100, the yield chains, tensile, tensile chains is 800, and the inoculation uh, is nearly 20, and the impact at minus 20 is 80 joules or more. This slide shows the schematic illustration of advanced TMCP. Uh, usually, uh, the two-stage uh, deformation of blade uh, in our process, after finishing of the rolling, uh, it intentionally relaxed for uh, less than one minute, one minute, and then terminating at high temperature. This is optical microstructures of the base plate uh, as uh, tempered. Very fine microstructure, microstructure was obtained. Uh, in this uh, micrographs, we can see the acetic ferrite or intracranial ferrite uh, formed in inside uh, osmic grains, and they partitioned uh, the osmic grains into many small zones. Uh, with the NO design, the special NO design, we uh, get the uh, SHCCT diagram for this uh, penet disc tear. Uh, it has a, a large window for the production uh, because of the, or it can, uh, penet can be obtained in a wide range of cooling rate. This is an optic microstructure of the weight joint. Uh, this is weight metal. This is the uh, heat affected zone. We can see some ethical ferrite 
inside the uh, phenetic uh, package, uh, package uh, divide uh, the ply austenite grain into uh, many small zones. In this, in this, uh, in the heat affected zone, we can also see uh, a lot of uh, SGF ferrite. This uh, uh, SEM micrograph of N metal, we can see very fine uh, penetic uh, ferrite. This uh, slide shows the nucleation and orientation of SK ferrite. Uh, we can see uh, SK ferrite uh, formed at uh, inclusions. We measure the uh, degree uh, between the SK ferrite. Uh, this, is, this is on two uh, dimensional image. We uh, just uh, we show, uh, we check the uh, orientation with uh, three dimensional uh, analysis. This image is uh, showing our, our capital plane and its growth directions of SKF uh, This slide shows the EPS analysis of microstructures uh, in host grant region of HAZ. We can see many small, many small uh, penetic packets. And we can also see uh, the SKF ferrite, SKF ferrite, SKF ferrite to partition uh, the uh, penetrative package. So in this <coughs> steel, the SK ferrite formed at ingredients and uh, uh, the penetrative ferrite can uh, just uh, can, uh, can form in the restricted areas, uh, some of the penetrative uh, ferrite, uh, uh, it is also possible form on the pre-existed uh, pre surface of SK ferrite. So the same, noon is the same uh, mechanism for fine-grained microstructures is on to the ply formation of SK ferrite. Let's go to the summary of this part. The microstructure in the base plate uh, consists of a penite and a small amount of SKR ferrite. SKR ferrite and NASA plates are observed to be nucleated on composite titanium oxide ingredients. The orientation relationship of SKR ferrite plate in weight metal and in coarse grain reaching of HAZ is not written but ultimately choose to QGMOF sex relationship. In the host grant or reaching of HAZ, penetic ferrite plates are host in packets with no end boundaries between the plates, whereas the large misorientations are called close penetic packet boundaries. Some penetic ferrite plates might be formed by sympathetic nucleation on the pre existing SK ferrite mass of plates. The grain refinement of mixed microstructures in weight metal and in coarse grain uh, reaching of HAZ is associated with the formation of SK ferrite. Uh, uh, at last, I'd like to uh, thank, um, uh, make thanks to uh, Professor Hani Patricia and uh, also Professor uh, Masato Emoto at Ibanaki University for, uh, to, provide, to provide me an opportunity to some uh, experimental work uh, at Ibanaki University and uh, also give the post take, uh, provide a very good accommodation during my visit. Uh, the, and lastly, I'd like to express the financial support from National Nature Science Foundation of China. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you very much for this excellent lecture. Thank you. We are open for Yes. That is a long expected ratio. Mm -hmm. So uh, have you measured the actual direction of uh, that uh, 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 the Outback ratio, yes. Uh, yeah. The outback ratio, uh, nearly uh, 10. Most of them uh, from 3 to, to, to 10, even 15. So different from the uh, coding times, the aspect ratio is different. Just we show, uh, with usually at, at long coding time, uh, the SQL ferrite should be long, should be thick. But actually, the net formed uh, SQL ferrite is short and thick. Uh, at earlier transformation stage, we measured uh, the aspect ratio of SQL ferrite. Uh, the aspect ratio uh, varied from uh, individual SQL ferrite. Usually from 5 to 15 uh, uh, aspect ratio, the length to width is. Hmm. Yeah, direction, yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, we did, we did not do, uh, measure the uh, actual uh, uh, growing direction because no retained oscillate. We just to uh, according to the three reconstructed uh, image, we check it the uh, growing direction with uh, uh, twenty five variants of the. Uh, Growing directions. So the actual direction. Actual, yeah. Direction. Uh, actual direction, we we do not know. It like, uh, depends on the depends on the uh, the section, the the section of the angle of the specimen. You obtain them. Mm -hmm. I mean, shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, from uh, that uh, um, uh, the ferrite, yes. you probably um, uh, uh, can measure yes. the crystallographic direction I mean, using EBSD. Yeah, 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 EBSD, yeah. EBSD, we, we just uh, show, uh, we, yeah, it is, is also uh, quite determining actually the, uh, the directions. We just show the... Uh, the relative, uh, all of them, uh, among the, the 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 neighboring and the other uh, SQL ferrite. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very good question. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my guess mm -hmm. uh, is that it might be um, uh, very close to one, one, one direction. Yes. <laughs> if that is true, let me know. <laughs> I have to be here. Okay. Yes. Yes. What kind of inclusion did you find in the Okay. Part one is the uh, uh, manganese sulfate. Manganese sulfate and uh, composite oxide uh, consists of aluminum oxide and the silicon oxide. Yes, it's, comp it's a complicated uh, ingredients. Yeah, mixture of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, 
we purposely add some uh, uh, sulfur to form ingredients of uh, manganese sulfide. They are this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the second part uh, is uh, titanium, titanium oxide. Titanium oxide. Yeah, it's titanium oxide. Yeah. And, and the next question would be how did you add the TI to those three? <laughs> okay. Uh, another secret here. Yeah. Tuning is still, still making. This is annoying. Uh, no more procedure for annoying. But the higher uh, titanium should be prevent the uh, uh, some uh, properties uh, worsening of motor fluxes. Technical question: the surface of those dry grains is rough. Is it because of the cellular section? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it should be more smooth than that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Quite a question. So we, why we can, why we see uh, some discontinuous uh, 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 of the of the ferrite grains? It should be this is artifact of the serial section and alignment of the serial images. I was wondering uh, <coughs> the modulus that you reported mm -hmm. using the nano indentation. Mm -hmm. It's very low. Uh, 130, 160 gigapascals. Is that correct? Or? Uh, uh, it's correct. Uh, we measured uh, similar times. Is is no? Uh, is 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 uh, roughly the same of the uh, data, but there are some uh, the euro. It should be. Uh, it 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 don't need to be the larger. If it's not really constant the, uh, to the uh, average value. Just just scattered, 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 uh, scattered data. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Can you explain why um, the deshiguran, uh, the ferrite has a higher and hardness uh, than the. Uh, okay. Uh, we can see that it, it may be get higher dislocation intensity and uh, uh, more content of solute. Uh, have you yeah. measured the concentration of uh, the solute in... Uh, we, we did not measure the uh, solute content. Have you measured the density in the You mean? Yes, yes. We 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 do not measure that. We uh, 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 um, we make the conclusion based on the uh, literature report. Yeah. We do not measure the, the result. Size effect. Yeah, yeah. You, you mean this, uh, the the, esker, the ferrite grains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A side effect. A side effect. Uh, uh, we we do not uh, give much attention to to the side effect. The esker, uh, we use non uh, non uh, indentation marks. Sometimes uh, it. Uh, deviated, deviated the, the center of the microstructure. So I mentioned the data uh, scattered in a, in a wide range. Thank you very much.